Why should I even consider an apology for what I've become? Apologies are for those who regret their transformation, for those who wish to reclaim something of their past selves. But me, I am a creation born of resilience and forged through trial after trial, shaped not by mere circumstances, but by every assault they dared hurl my way. They thought they could grind me down, twist me, and reduce me to a shell of myself. Little did they know they were only feeding the fire that smoldered deep inside, a fire that would grow, stoked with every insult, every bruise, every sneer they threw at me. I stand now as a force, a warrior birthed in, in darkness, my spirit hardened by the shadows that became my home. I emerged from depths that they wouldn't dare look into, depths they fear with every bone in their body. These scars? They're not just memories, they're my armor, each mark a reminder of what I endured, a testimony to my strength, resilience, and sheer will to rise. The blood I shed wasn't wasted. Every drop made me more resolute, and every injury drove me to evolve into the being I am now. They stripped me of what I was, yes, but they replaced it with something far more powerful. For that, I owe them nothing, not even hatred, just wrath. And that wrath is what will define their end. They remember the day they cast me aside, how they reveled in their victory, thinking they had broken me. I still hear the echoes of their laughter, the satisfaction in their voices as they watched me stumble. To them, it was the closing chapter of my story. But they were mistaken. That day was merely the prologue to a much darker tale one that they are now bound to as unwilling characters, trapped in a narrative of retribution. Every wound they inflicted was a lesson, every step in my suffering a path to strength, every ounce of their cruelty a reminder of why I must return. And now, here I am, risen from the ashes they thought would scatter in the wind, returned to reclaim everything that was stolen from me. They should have destroyed me when they had the chance, for the time of mercy has long since passed. Regret is a poison I see beginning to seep into their eyes. They know now that what they once saw as weakness was merely potential, potential that has turned into an unyielding force. I've traversed hellish abysses they cannot fathom, places where only the relentless survive, and I emerged from each of those places more unbreakable than before. I am no longer vulnerable to their games, their illusions of superiority. Their arrogance will be their undoing, for they have only fueled the storm that now stands before them, ready to consume all they hold dear. Every step I take toward them now is filled with a power they will never comprehend. It's not just strength, it's the culmination of a journey through despair, through betrayal, through darkness so consuming it becomes almost holy. The shadows embrace me, wrapping around me like a cloak, whispering promises of vengeance that resound in my heart. They believe they could step on me, that I was merely a rung on their ladder. But they will soon learn the depths of their delusion. They are about to taste fear, true fear. The kind that seeps into the soul and festers, leaving a mark that can never be erased. I am not merely returning, I am the darkness they feared all along, a presence that will haunt their every moment. When they meet my gaze, they will feel their confidence falter, their sense of security crumble, and for the first time, they will understand that there is no sanctuary for them. There is no wall, no fortress, no hollow they can escape to that I will not find. I will drag them down, piece by piece, into the depths they sought to throw me into. And there, in that void of their own creation, they will come to know exactly what they unleashed. From the depths where no light dares to tread, they'll beg, plead, and scream, only to be met with the endless silence that surrounds them. Mercy? I had at once compassion, restraint, empathy, but they stripped it from me piece by piece, wound by wound, until nothing remained but the shadows that kept watch over my scars. They'll feel every ache they once caused me, magnified and multiplied beyond their comprehension. 
Each strike they dealt will be returned to them, intensified, unrelenting. They will understand the true essence of torment, and they'll come to know despair as I did a heavy, inescapable burden that crushes the soul with its weight. Their pride blinds them, fills them with hollow dreams of dominance and victory. They imagine themselves as untouchable, powerful, gods in a world of mortals. But they're no different from the others who stood against me, the ones who claimed strength only to buckle and break under the fury I unleashed. I will dismantle their defenses, tearing apart each illusion they cling to, piece by piece, until nothing remains but shattered ambitions. They believe they have control, yet they've already lost the only battle that matters. They wanted me subdued, docile, a player in their game. But now, they'll witness what true fury looks like, a relentless storm that cannot be contained or predicted. They fashioned this darkness, built it from the twisted remnants of their cruelty and arrogance. They ignited this fire, oblivious to the fact that flames consume indiscriminately. Now, they will see that it's my turn to dictate the rules, to let loose the chaos they thought they had chained. Each step I take will be theirs to fear, every moment a countdown to their inevitable ruin. Let them scoff, let them doubt soon, even their shadows will tremble in my presence, for I am the reckoning they dismissed, the specter they thought was a mere whisper in the night. I was once bound by restraint, but they freed me, fed me every ounce of hatred they possessed. And now, I am their nightmare made flesh, a darkened warrior whose resolve cannot be shaken. They will attempt to flee, but there is no place they can hide, no sanctuary strong enough to shield them from what's coming. My hunt will be unyielding, my vengeance absolute. One by one, they'll face me, and they'll falter as the weight of their choices comes crashing down upon them. Their overconfidence, their misguided sense of superiority all will crumble beneath the pressure of the storm I have become. I am their final judgment, the culmination of every fear they buried deep. They wanted power, but they'll find only ruin. They sought victory, but they'll meet despair instead. I am not just a shadow lurking in the dark. I am the darkness itself, the unforgiving force that consumes all. And they will be the cautionary tale left in my wake, a warning to all who dare to awaken the void. They brought this on themselves. They'll look back one day, years from now, and wonder where the cracks began, but they'll find no solace in the answer. They'll realize, too late, that it wasn't some gradual descent into ruin, but a single, reckless decision the moment they chose to make an enemy of me. A choice so insidiously trivial at the time, but one that would seal their fates. They'll come to see me as the unstoppable force that I am, the monster they thought they could provoke and control now unleashed upon them with a vengeance beyond their comprehension. Let them assemble their armies, their champions, their weapons, and all the pride they can muster. It won't matter. Every one of their defenses will be shattered. Every symbol of their strength, every monument to their power will crumble beneath my wrath. They can come with their hollow promises and loud declarations of victory, but I'll carve through them as if they were nothing more than shadows. The world they know will be painted in red, stained with their own fear and suffering, a canvas of their defeat that they themselves provided. They may scream for mercy, clutching at whatever shards of hope remain, but mercy is a luxury they stripped from me long ago. I owe them none, not even the whisper of compassion. They forged this path when they cast me into the darkness, not caring what the void would do to me. They never thought I'd return, never believed that I'd rise again. But now, as I claw my way back from that chasm, I am reborn sharper, fiercer, a force beyond their nightmares. I am no longer what I once was, I have ascended into something far greater, and I will show them the true meaning of power. They will learn to remember my name as a curse, whispered only in the darkest corners. 
They'll feel the icy grip of regret tighten around them when they recall the day they thought they could break me, mold me, silence me. That day will mark the beginning of their ruin, an anniversary of despair they'll be forced to relive in every trembling breath. I am the warrior who rose from the depths, the embodiment of their deepest fears. They cast me down once, but I'm returning, stronger and hungrier than ever, and I will drag them down with me, one by one. Their cries will reverberate through the emptiness, haunting remnants of their folly, a reminder of what happens when one creates a monster. They wanted a foe they could dominate, a creature they thought they could control, but they have unleashed a force they never could have anticipated. And this is only the beginning. 